Okay, so the uh, weathering has been done. So if it's not clear how I've done this, um, I'll explain very quickly. Basically, I base coated the model silver, so that was lead belcher, and then gave it a wash with uh, Agrax Earthshade. And then I have given it three coats of hairspray, but I'd recommend testing that on a model before doing it, because it normally depends on the hairspray you're using. And then I gave it an airbrushed um, Aberdeen Black. And then I got a pot of warm water and a hard brush, and I scraped away at it. And it's made all these little scratches. Okay? Sorry. Which look quite nice. So, I have got a video explaining how to do this more clearly. But just for now, I thought I'd just let you see that. Okay, so if I turn it round, I've. Hello, that's not focusing at all. Let's try again. Yeah. So I've done a lot more on the back and on the underside because looking into it, this is where they normally get the most damage done. Planes in general that is. But the Orc ones especially because they drive so close to the ground to do their bombing runs in the background. So I thought that kind of worked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint the base which needs finishing. I'm going to do the driver and I'm also going to pick out some of the features. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the base, I think. Yeah, let's start off with the base because I've said I'm going to start off with the base. So I'm going to do that now, guys. So I'm going to set up the tripod and then I'll be back with you. We need to undercoat these bits with... Um, something so I'm going to use the Imperial Primer paint to do that and I'm not going to bore you by showing you me doing that so I'm just going to get that done I'll be back with you in a sec so there we have it I have base not base coat undercoated re undercoated um, all these bits that hadn't been caught with paint in the last video using the Imperial Primer and I've also, whilst it was out, I thought I'd re-pick out the grot and the orc and any other bits that need to be re-undercoated. But for me, it was just those two. For you, it might be different. Okay? And that's it, really. This is what I'm going to concentrate on for now, though. So that's going to go to one side. Whenever I've left it to dry, I've worked on something else. So I've just base-coated uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 grot, uh, not grots, squigs. So I've just base coated 10 squigs whilst that's been drying. Um, so now that it is dry, or relatively dry, I'm now going to get um, Macarius Grey, I think it's called. There we are. Oh no, Mechanicus Standard Grey. And I'm going to reapply a base coat over these just to make it blend in with the base a bit. So it's all base coated, base coated, base coated. Um, and... We're now going to go over that with a shade of non oil, which should be kicking around, but I'm sure you all know what that looks like. So, non oil. Okay. And that's it with the wash of non oil. So, it's darkened it down a lot, as I'm sure you can see. And it's given it a better kind of contrast, but for me, that's not enough contrast. So, I'm going to do some dry brushing. And for this one, it's going to take so little time. I'm going to let you watch this one. So, it is. Long beard grey that I'm using. Okay. And this is one of the new dry paints. Now I really like the dry paints. But I'm going to let you watch.
Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a detail brush and all my little bits of um, kind of like metal and stuff that I've put on the base, all the texture stuff um, that I've used the 40k basing kit for, I'm going to pick out with lead belcher because this is all going to get weathered up using the model mate stuff which I'm going to show you as well. There you go. Okay, so that is all the dry brushing done and the silver done on the uh, tubing and stuff from the 40k basing kit. Okay, what I'm going to do next on the base is I'm going to actually do some rust effects and some other effects using some. Oh, this is all zoomed in, isn't it? So, using the model mates. Rust effect. Okay. So let's try this out then. And that is our base pretty much finished. Just apply static grass however you normally would on your bases. So the pilot is now green and so is the little grot on top. Okay, That was using Castellan green which is quite a nice kind of natural uh, muted green. Which is what I go for for my orcs. I don't. I don't like brightly coloured orcs anymore. Really, I prefer kind of muted green uh, for me personally. However, you could do it your own green. There's quite a good guide in this month's White Dwarf, and also in um, that's June 2012, by the way, and in How to Paint Sacred Army Niches. So there's quite good guides for orc skin in there, like traditional. But I'm going for Castellan Green for a more muted so colour. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to highlight the pilots. So I've started off, I'm going to start off with the Orc. And the Orc, to do him, I've started off with Castellan Green. I've done a wash of Athonian Camo Shade. And now what I'm going to do is go over with Lauren Forest. So this is the first time I've used this paint, so it's quite, quite cool. Let's have a look. Okay, then I'm going to go over that with Strachan Green. Okay, so the orc in the front is done, and now I'm going to move on to the grot in the turret. Okay, so for the grot in the turret, I am going to highlight it with Elysian Green, and then do an edge highlight with Ogryn Camo.
Well, that's the two pilots skin all finished up. So next up, I quite fancy painting them sunglasses. Quite fun. So start off with the fang through to rust grey, then Fenrisian grey, and then finally an edge highlight with white scar. Okay. I'll show you some photos in a second. There's his little aviators. Okay, so next up is going to be his mouth. And I've got to work out some colours there. Spare and there we me. have it. There's the little orc with his face painted. I have an unending love for this model. It's so much fun to paint. Just the crew. And there's the grot done there as well. Sorry, got caught on the wing. So there he is, with his little red eye. Oh, focusing on the wrong bit. There we go. Great little model. So, how did I go about doing them? So the teeth is what I started with. And it was Steel Legion Drab as a base coat. First highlight was Carrick Stone. Second highlight, edge highlight, was Screaming Skull. And then a final, just on the end of the tips. Oh, hello. Sorry about that, camera skull. conked out, um, but I fixed it. So, um, the tongue on Mr. Flyboy was Screamer Pink as a base. Then a highlight with Pink Horror. And then Emperor's Children as an edge highlight followed by mixing Emperor's Children and White Scar together to get kind of a nice bright pink. Um, the Grot's Eye was then just picked out with Mephiston Red. Okay, so the claws, as you can kind of see, especially on the Grot, those were painted the same way as I did the teeth. Okay, so next up, I think I'm going to pick out the bandages the fur and the uh, headphones as well as all this headgear that the Grot is currently wearing. It's Monday morning and this guy's done as is this little guy. So I'm going to start off with this guy. First thing I did was I picked out the fur okay, around his neck. So that was quite simple. That was just a base coat using Bane Blade Brown and then a wash with um, Agrax Earthshade and then a dry brush of Rakath Flesh mixed in with the Bane Blade Brown so I know it's unusual not to use a base paint to base coat but there we go I thought the colours would work nicely and that was with some con consultation with Harlequin Han okay so after that I decided to do the headpiece on the little grot dude and that was Mournfang Brown, followed by a mix of XV88 and Mournfang Brown, and then a highlight of just XV88. Okay, and that's kind of ended up like that, so I'm quite happy with that. Okay, all the little metal bits, um, like this at the back, were edge highlighted with. Um, iron, not iron uh, yeah, iron breaker, and the he the headpiece was picked out with lead belcher, given a wash of Agrax Earthshade, and then highlighted with iron breaker again. All the black bits were picked out with Skaven Blight Dinge. Okay, and the little triggers were picked out with Mephiston Red and then highlighted with Wild Rider Red just like the buttons on this guy. What else did I do? The bandages on the Orc's arms were Zandri Dust highlighted with Carrick Stone and then highlighted with Ushabti Bone. Just quite a nice triad of colours there. So, um, next up I'm going to highlight this gun up 
maybe add some colour into it with some bronze and stuff and then I'm actually going to start doing some detailing on the plane itself um, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that so I'm going to think on it I think I'm going to have to varnish it and then I'm going to do some more hairspray methods over the top of that with any patterns that I choose to do so cheers for watching guys um, I think that's going to be the end of this video um, so I will see you all in the next one